Okay, welcome everyone. Thanks for being here today. Uh, and thanks for taking the time out of your busy schedules to join us for our webinar, uh, How to Process UAV Imagery with Higher Accuracy and Lower Costs. I'm your host, Mauro Scatoza. I'm the Digital Marketing Specialist at PCI Geomatics, and I'm broadcasting the webinar live today from Ottawa, Canada. Um, it's really great to see uh, so many of you with us here today. We've got some really cool things to show you that, uh, that I think you'll really like. Uh, but before we get started, I'd like to just go through some logistics. Um, so uh, right now, the, uh, all your lines will be muted during the webinar. Um, but if you do have a, um, a question or a, a technical issue, um, please use the questions panel or raise your hand. And uh, what I'll do is I'll take, I'll keep an eye on that, and um, I'll try to um, to get to those questions as soon as possible. The webinar is being recorded, uh, but please stick around. Uh, we've got some valuable information and and a very cool demo uh, to show you uh, that we think will really amaze you. So please stick around and enjoy and enjoy the show. Okay, I'm going to introduce our presenters. Uh, joining me today are two of my colleagues from PCI Geomatics, Asleem Ergudin and Sean Malamed. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. Great. So, um, Salim, I'll start with you. I understand uh, you have plenty of experience processing drone imagery. Why don't you tell us uh, a little bit more about yourself and, and about your experience? Oh, Salim, you might be muted. Salim, can you hear me? Oh, there we go. I think you're there. Yep. So, sorry about that. Yeah. So, um, so I'm a technical solution specialist at uh, PCI Geomatics. Um, I have processed about a couple thousand uh, UAV projects using PCI Geomatica, as well as a couple other UAV softwares as well. Very cool. So, so Salim, you have, um, you have experience with drones and, and, and drone hardware and software and, and processing drone imagery. Can you, can you talk a little bit ab about that? Yeah, sounds good. So yeah, I have basically uh, processed imagery in agriculture um forestry and surveying so i have done all those three uh uav processing uh applications and additionally i've used uh, various uh drone types various drone imageries uh such as uh sansfly eb uh, a couple different dji platforms such as a dji mattress dji mavic dji phantom so yeah i have a variety of different experience a variety of different experience processing drone imagery in different platforms. Okay, well, that's that's very cool. I think um, I think our audience today will be um, very interested in 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 seeing what you have to show us today later on uh, in your demonstration. So thanks a lot, uh, Salim. Um, next up, we have Sean Malamed. How you doing, Sean? I am doing wonderful. Thank you for having me. Great, of course. So, Sean, you and I work closely together um, on the marketing side of things at PCI Geomatics. Um, but unlike myself, um, you have a background in remote sensing. Um, so why don't you why don't you tell us a little bit more about your uh, experience uh, in, with remote sensing? Yeah, absolutely. So um, and I studied remote sensing in school and university, so uh, geomatics and spatial analysis. Um, and actually, this is my uh, second tour now with uh, PCI. So I just recently rejoined the company about uh, two months ago, uh, joining as the product marketing manager. Um, and But before that, I worked for PCI for over seven, eight years and in a variety of capacities. So doing a lot on the development side, um, helping design and, and build algorithms. And then also um, I spent many years uh, talking with customers. So I have a pretty strong um, and variety of uh, applications and experiences uh, when it comes to remote sensing. So I'm really excited to, you know, what we're about to show. And um, I think it's going to really resonate with our audience here today. 
Yeah, yeah, we that's great, Sean. We have we have a lot of new stuff, new features in Geomatica, and and you're going to be pr uh, showing some of that stuff later on. Um, so that's great. Uh, so thank you guys for that introduction. Um, so uh, before we 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 get into the webinar, I just like to quickly go over um, go over the the agenda for today. Um, so in today's webinar, so Sean's going to be giving you an introduction to Geomatica and highlight some of those new features that we've just released um, earlier this week. Um, he's also going to talk about the benefits of Geomatica and, and using uh, UAV imagery specifically in Geomatica. Um, then we're going to we're going to move on to uh, a demonstration. Uh, Salim's going to show a, a demonstration of the new end-to-end uh, -end, uh, UAV workflow that we have in Geomatica. Uh, then we're going to have a little bit of time for some questions and answers at the end of the webinar. Okay, so with that, uh, I'll, uh, I'll I'll let Sean take over. He's going to get into the uh, the introduction uh, to Geomatica. So please, uh, Sean, take it away. Thank you so much, Mara. Really appreciate that. So. Before we do jump into the webinar, I just want to outline a few takeaways for this uh, webinar and highlight some of the things we're hoping that you, after this hour, uh, walk away with. So we want you to first understand a little bit more about our new end-to-end -end option for processing UAV imagery and some of the work that we've done to really make this a nice end-to-end -end solution for a uh, variety and majority of the different drone applications out in the market today. Then we want to also show you how we can um, extend and improve your deliverables. So to help how our solutions and technology can help you increase accuracy as well as overall quality of your deliverables to your customers using a variety of the different uh, tools that we have and leveraging the technology that we've built over the last 35 years. And then finally, uh, we want to also showcase a lot of our automation and interactive editing tools that allow you to achieve that quality, but still be able to ultimately reduce or do this at a very uh, low and manageable cost. So that's also something we believe is very important as a takeaway for this uh, webinar. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, effectively communicate and showcase uh, these three main value outcomes. I'm gonna start off just by introducing Geomatica. So, Geomatica is our uh, best of breed, so our industry leading photogrammetry and remote sensing software suite. So we really focus on uh, being able to provide outstanding results for uh, the pre-processing, geometric correction, radiometric correction, uh, and, and analytics, and ultimately delivering those final outcome results for UAV, aerial, and satellite imagery, both optical and radar. So those are really the areas that we play. So it's a very variety or it's a, it's a wide offering within our solution. We have some outstanding technologies to focus on in these different areas. Our capabilities are really built up around these four main pillars. So we have, if you look over here on our left, our photogrammetry capabilities. So this is the ability to create survey accurate ortho images to perform that geometric correction with sub-pixel accuracy, so once again, an area that we are an industry leader in. Also being able to create those very precise, very detailed 3D models, whether they're surface models with buildings and trees or uh, terrain models, which are just the bare, bare terrain. We have a lot of great technology and tools to help you generate those um, with very, very high quality. Radiometry is another area, so looking at things like uh, atmospheric and terrain correction, uh, different image fusion techniques. So we have some new ones, especially for um, for high resolution, say satellite imagery. But then also on uh, more specifically for UAV, looking at the mosaicing applications. So that's a very important part of a, a common deliverable in your projects is being able to deliver that ortho mosaic. So we have a lot of technology built into our platform for being able to create those seamless, very natural looking images uh, without any flaws using our, our capabilities. Then we also have a number of uh, SAR and radar capabilities, more on the satellite side. That's not really relevant so much for this webinar, but just wanted to note that. And then finally, um, another area is the image analysis. So this is another area we have over 550 different algorithms and functions within our 
suite. We have a number of different capabilities and workflows that are designed to help extract information in a more automated way with high accuracy. So this is things like if you need to calculate volume, if you need to measure change, if you need to count assets, if you need to perform, like say, classification. So we have a lot of capabilities to help do this without the need of going to the more common approach, which is just to manually digitize. So this is another huge benefit of our offering. And this is further supported on the platform of, uh, we have a number of machine learning algorithms to help support uh, different information extraction and say classification of our pixels. Now I'm just gonna switch gears and I wanna quickly introduce some of our, a uh, little bit more about our user experience and, and uh, user interface. So we have on, uh, in terms of our product, a very responsive uh, viewing and creating and editing environment that's designed for handling very large images, multiple layers, so supports vector, raster, so you can have multiple layers in there, and you can perform all of the work that you need to both view as well as create new layers, extract information, or edit existing, uh, existing information in there. So we're going to be showcasing some of that as well. Uh, then we also have automation environments and our development API. So we have graphical environments for allowing you to chain and automate workflows together. So you can just, if you look over here, you can just drag and drop different algorithms and functions into the canvas, start chaining them together to build a pipeline of how your data is going to flow through it. And then uh, that can be used to automate workflows and uh, perform batch, batch work, so multiple projects in one. Uh, for the more, uh, for those of you that want to do more programming, we have our Python API, and this allows you to build your own custom applications or to build more complex automation and also to integrate into other platforms like uh, ArcGIS or QGIS uh, in order to extend your workflows even further. Now, Really just want to mention, pretty excited about this uh, recent release of uh, new features into our Geomatica BAMP platform. So on Tuesday, just two days ago, we released and announced the release of these new capabilities. So you can go in, download the newest version, contact us or subscribe to our cloud offering to access these newest features. So we have our end-to-end -end workflow for UAV imagery. So new capabilities built into that. We have our new machine learning algorithm, Random Forest. Uh, which is for classification and feature extraction. And then uh, in addition to those two highlights, we have over 30 additional capabilities, sensors, or enhancements that have been added and released into this most recent, uh, into our most recent release, which happened on Tuesday. So very excited um, and stay tuned. We have a lot more information on those. Now, for the rest of this webinar, we are going to be focusing on our complete end-to-end -end workflow for processing UAV imagery. Awesome. That's great, Sean. So before we get into that, I just I just wanted to mention um, a few things, um, a few of the things that we have coming up. We have some upcoming webinars coming up later this month. Um, I just wanted to um, announce one, the, the specific one coming up next week, that's June 18th. Uh, we're gonna show you uh, how to create uh, land cover maps with higher accuracy and automation using our new machine learning classifier. So, uh, so stick around. Uh, I'm going to show you how to register for that, so you can uh, so you can be part of that um, event. And uh, later on, uh, near the end of June, we're gonna we're gonna have a, another webinar. Um, we're gonna show you so how to do more analysis and extending uh, your UAV workflow in the cloud. Uh, performing information extraction, uh, ultimately bringing more value uh, to your customer offerings. Um, so now we're going to get into um, the interactive portion of the webinar. Um, and we'd like to, uh, to ask um, the participation of all of you. And we're, we're going to launch a poll. Uh, so let me, get that, uh, let me get that started here. So I've just launched a poll there, and, and the question um, that we were asking you is, what do you value most when processing UAV imagery? Uh, so um, th there's, a, there's a few option, options here, uh, accuracy, speed, automation, ease of use, analytics and information extraction. 
Um, so we're just curious on 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 what um, what you what you value uh, most um, when you're processing imagery. So uh, I see some responses coming in now. Um, this is great. It looks like um, it looks like accuracy is um, is taking the lead here. Um, this is wonderful. Okay, I appreciate the uh, the responses that are coming in. Interesting to see. Yeah. Okay. So this is great. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna um, let it run for a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to close it. I'm going to close the poll down here in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm just going to close that and I just want to share the results with everyone. So yeah, it looks like accuracy um, uh, accuracy is, is one of those uh, features that, that uh, most of you are looking for here. Um, uh, analytics and information extraction um, is a close second. Okay, and, and automation would be would be your your third um, value. Okay, well that's interesting. We appreciate um, we appreciate you taking part in that poll. Um, so we're going to continue on with the webinar here, Sean. Um, I'll uh, I'll give it back to you. Wonderful. So yeah, that's very that's very helpful, and actually it aligns really well with um, what we were anticipating and what we've learned so far from the market and where we're putting our efforts into. Um, our UAV workflows as well. So at this point, I just want to highlight a few key areas. So some value drivers that we are really focusing on in terms of uh, when we put our effort into developing our, our workflows and our products. So we're just going to highlight a couple of these for you now. So the first one, um, which aligns really well with that poll, is accuracy and quality. So we put a lot of effort, and this is also compounded by the many, many years of our work in more of the traditional aerial and satellite um, uh, side or platforms. So we're able to leverage a lot of that technology into um, our UAV offering. And with this, we're able to provide survey level accuracy and also some very unique interactive editing tools that help you deliver products and with quality that are above the competition. So to make sure that you are standing out above the rest from your customer's perspective. So we're gonna show you a little bit about that throughout the webinar and into the demonstration portion, but how we can do that. Now this is also really important is because we have capabilities around being able to perform this kind of survey level accuracy um, with high levels of automation, this allows you to be able to potentially access or uh, industries or applications or take on projects that maybe prior you wouldn't be able to before because they were just too expensive um, in order to do. So this brings us to that next point, which is the time and cost savings. So we put a lot of effort into automation and making sure that we can provide you with valuable interactive editing tools that can help you significantly reduce the manual labor and cost, but still be able to deliver that quality result that your customers demand. So this is important, and this is something that I think Celine's going to go and touch on some of his personal experience and his over thousand image or projects that he's been uh, worked on, where he's in the past with without some of our tools, he's had to uh, literally sometimes refly, go back and refly areas, and I'm sure there's a number of people who on this call or on the webinar that can feel that pain of having to go back refly areas because there was a an obscurity or there was an artifact in one and there was really no clean easy way to fix it so we're going to show you some of our tools that can really help prevent any of those things that happening which anytime you have to do that kind of work or reprocess uh, we know that there's a cost associated to it um, and and that's that's important to keep in mind other thing too so we're not going to go into too much into this webinar but just wanted to um, highlight this one which is the being able to offer value-added services so being able to extend your portfolio of services that you offer to your customers um, because now you have the tools and the algorithms and the workflows to be able to generate uh, these different value added services like volume calculation, measuring change, um, survey level accuracy, and so on and so forth. 
uh, leveraging this technology to be able to now provide those additional value added services and offer even more value to your customers, of course, at a price. And then finally, the flexible access. So with Geomatica is now more accessible than ever. So we have uh, users can either download our software as before, purchase a, uh, a license for your own pers uh, for your own computer, uh, your own local computer, or you can now subscribe to our cloud subscription service and access it virtually um, through our through our partner platform. So we're going to also showcase that. So we have a number of different ways, and we know that this is important because a lot of UAV uh, businesses out there, many of them are small medium businesses, so SMBs, and uh, making sure that you have effective cost-effective methods so for example not having capital expenditures on hardware or software can be a valuable way to be able to um, run your business effectively in the end we also know cash is king so looking at uh, a little bit more into the technical side so we're going to uh, peel back the onion a little bit more and uh, dive into the technical side of things just a little bit so i'm not going to go into the workflow into too much detail but um, that, that's going to be Salim's uh, job when he goes through the demonstration. But basically, this is the workflow that Salim is going to be showcasing for us. So you can see here, we're going to go all the way from the data ingest, so bringing in the imagery. And then we're going to take it to the product perfecting, basically the deliverable of a ortho mosaic in a DEM or a DSM. And uh, it, join us for our next few webinars where we're going to show more about the value added services and uh, generating information products and analytics. But what I do want to do during this part is to highlight some valuable outcomes that you can expect. And I want you to think about this as Salim is going through the demonstration. So when he's talking about these areas, I want you to think about how you can leverage these capabilities to help provide some of the value that I'm going to highlight here. So the first one is point collection. So there's a lot in our point collection. So first of all, we have our I just want to call out our new self camera calibration. So this has allowed us to now have a full end to end offering for most UAV um, projects out there on the market. And the importance of this is that traditionally with a, uh, a survey quality camera that is designed for say more traditional aerial um, or even satellite is those cameras are calibrated in labs. They uh, all angles of the distortions are well understood and they're compensated for so those uh, you know that ahead of time however in most UAV projects you're just using a standard albeit high quality but you're using a standard digital camera where you haven't gone to a lab to calibrate the distortions in the lens so with our self camera calibration capabilities this is done automatically by the software where it's understanding the different distortions that are uh, that that are in your lens and compensating for them in real time so that is the new capability that allows us to now really provide a full end-to-end -end workflow. But what's also important, and I just want to bring to your attention, is the outcomes that you can expect with this, um, within this. So there's a lot of value in our point collection, and this is really where all the magic ha happens. So this is where the quality of the this step, the step is going to dictate how the quality and the accuracy of your ortho mosaics and of your elevation models. So with this, we can create survey accurate ortho mosaics, 3D elevation models, or time series stacks. That's done through our automatic GCP collection. So by doing this, we're able to create those survey accurate information. And it's also very valuable for time series. So for those of you that might be working on applications such as monitoring applications like in mining or in construction where you're looking at uh, changes in say excavation activities uh, maybe you're measuring stockpiles and changes in stockpiles or just measuring things and, and, and doing it on a recurring basis in order to do that effectively and accurately you need to be able to perfectly align those images those different ortho mosaics captured at the different times so we can help you do that as well with our automatic GCP collection. So just new applications that we can help break down the barriers for, which would otherwise be very time consuming to do. Also another value prop that we want to make sure you're aware of is the ability to save on time and cost. So because we're collecting GCPs in a more automated method, we can help you for certain projects to be able to do that 
in a very expedited fashion. So you can reduce the amount of time it takes to collect the images from potentially hours or days, depending on the size of the project, to minutes. Um, and once again, this is the automatic GCP collection is an optional step, and it's really there if you want to create that survey grade data. Moving on, we're going to uh, go into the product. I call this product perfecting. So we can think of this more as our interactive editing tools. So this gives you the ability to fine tune and perfect perhaps and, and remove and correct artifacts in your elevation model, in your ortho mosaic. And you can do this with an interactive tool on the fly very, very quickly and easily with lots of capability. Um, so that if there are issues and problems in your final result, you can fix them very quickly and easily without having to go back through the painful process of um, either reprocessing the imagery with different settings or worse yet, having to refly the project area and therefore um, take on much more cost and potentially eat into your profit margins. So this is another major area that we can really help you reduce costs. So keep this in mind when uh, Salim is showing this kind of capability within, within our software. And then finally, uh, once again, we're not going to go into this in detail in this webinar, but just wanted to call out that with our over 550 algorithms based on machine learning and, and change analysis and different capabilities that we have to perform, um, to extract information and provide value-added services um, and to help you deliver those value-added services, um, is another way that we're adding value into your processing chain and into your business, is being able to then deliver these kinds of results. So you can get started today. You can download our free 30-day trial. Um, you can access, which you can then access on your local computer. So you can go to our website and check that out. There'll be more resources at the end of this uh, webinar to show you more about that. Um, but also, uh, we have our subscription offering. So once again, you can go to our uh, uh, any one of our partner, our cloud partners uh, that support it. So you can access the same capabilities virtually. And basically, this gives you 24-7 access from anywhere. We have many different flexible subscription options. So this is where you can either pay on a, a monthly or a yearly uh, subscription. And of course, there's um, price benefits if you the longer you subscribe. But then also we're introducing very soon, so in the coming weeks, we'll be introducing our pay-per-use model as well, where basically you can pay an hourly um, rate, and you just pay for what you use. So the time that it's, it's, um, you're, it's open and running, you're paying for that, and then when you shut it down, you're not working on a product, you're not paying for that. So, And we're going to show you that, um, how this works in a future webinar as well, um, and, and show you all the benefits about these kinds of capabilities in that future webinar. So there's these two options now you can directly download. And, and pay for a, uh, a license of Geomatica, or, or you can uh, subscribe to our cloud subscription service. The last thing I'm going to talk about before we get into, um, I guess, the meat of the webinar, which is the demonstration, is I just want to highlight our support model. So we understand when working with different UA, uh, when you're working on UAV projects, time is of the essence. You need to be able, you have short turnaround times, uh, very tight deadlines, and when things go wrong or you're not sure how to do things, it's important that you have a strong access to support to be able to help you sort that out. So first of all, the first line of defense is really just our online self-serve help desk. We have a, a very um, a very capable, or uh, we have a, an online support uh, location or help desk where you can go, you can access tutorials, you can access our help documentation. Uh, you can gain access to frequently asked questions. There's a lot of information. We'll provide more details about that uh, at the end of this webinar. Then, of course, we have our, uh, our actual support agents or our support team, customer support team. So you can um, email them and get within 24 hours, um, have an email response. So that's another, another method. And then finally, uh, one thing to call out. So our support staff, our support team, they are experts that work for PCI. So they are just down the hall from me. They're just down the hall from our developers, from our um, uh, from our, our scientists, and they themselves are remote sensing and UAV specialists as well. So that's another benefit is that we're not outsourcing this, and this work is 
um, or and that this is uh, you're accessing the specialist themselves with access to all the resources they need to solve your problems quickly. That's great, Sean. Um, yeah, thanks. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned our support. Uh, we have world-class support and um, at the end of the webinar, I'm going to show everyone how to get in touch with them um, and show some other ways to engage with us uh, using some other helpful uh, online resources. Okay, well, thanks again, Sean. That was great. Um, so, so before we continue, before we get into uh, Salim's demonstration, I, I'd like to, to get another poll launched here. Um, so it'd be great to get uh, the participation from everyone I, once again. Uh, let me just launch the second poll. There we go. Uh, so you should be seeing the poll on your screen now. Um, so the question is, what is your preferred method to access software for processing UAB imagery? Uh, so we have three options here. There's uh, there's two cloud options, a subscription model, a monthly, annually, uh, a cloud pay-per-use option, uh, uh, paying by the minute, uh, and then um, the desktop um, option, um, so uh, purchase, purchasing a license, downloading, um, and using on your desktop. Uh, so um, this is great. I'm seeing uh, the responses come in now. Um, looking like looking like desktop is 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 clearly in the lead here um, this is interesting to see for sure this is great uh, yeah we're um, it, it uh, it's it's still looking like uh, overwhelming overwhelming um, support for desktop here Okay, I'm just gonna let the, the, the poll run for a few more seconds just to get a few more votes in. Okay, I'm gonna close it down in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, wonderful. Thank you everyone for participating in that. I'm just gonna share with the results. You can see clearly uh, the, the, the desktop has um, uh, is the preferred method uh, for this and, and uh, the two cloud options. Um, uh, well below that. So thanks again for participating in that poll. It's it's great to 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 have this data. Um, and so with that, I'm going to let's see here. Okay, I'm going to right. We're going to get into Salim's demonstration. So 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 what Salim is is going to be showing uh, during his demonstration um, of um, so how to how to do end-to-end uh, -end, uh, UAV processing with uh, with the new self camera calibration. Um, also uh, going to show you how to create survey level accuracy using automatic GCP collection. As well, uh, Salim is going to show you um, how to use our interactive tools uh, to reduce manual effort and complete projects faster. Okay, so with that, uh, Salim, if you could uh, go ahead and share your screen and uh, you can um, proceed with the demonstration. Yeah, thank you, Mauro. First, I would like to show you the results of the complete UAV workflow at DSM as well as a mosaic in a focus window. This is an overview of the mosaic that was processed. Now, I would like to zoom in and show you the multi uh, show you the multi temporal results from two different data sets that were co registered using our auto GCP collection. As you can see, the results are perfectly aligning at a survey level accuracy. Now, I'll, I would like to show you a non georeference result. As you can see, there's a clear misalignment between the mosaics. And for, such uh, for some applications, such as construction and surveying, this big misalignment may not be acceptable. Mosaics line up really well, but I would like to also show you the DSM alignment as well. And as you can see, the DSM also lines up really well. 
And this would be very important for some applications such as volumetric calculation, because if you have a misalignment, you may be getting inaccurate results. Now, I would like to show you the workflow for generating highly accurate results in Orto Engine. We have our project information window here. And I'm going to automatically read the camera parameters from one of the images. And as you can see, the name of the camera, the width, the chip, the height size is automatically read from the metadata. So I'm going to click OK. Next, we get our set projection window, and this is also automatically read from the metadata. It's in the UTM zone, and the output resolution is 2.1 centimeters. I'm going to click OK. Now, I'm going to go into automatically collecting tie points. It's under our point collection method. I'm going to automatically collect tie points. I'm actually going to load the images first. That's our data ingest step. This is going to take a couple seconds. And this is done. So now I can collect my points. And we have the new two pass FF, FBM and FFTP method. And the FBM method, the feature based matching, method is used for initial rotation corrections such as from UAVs. Then we use the FFTP method to collect the images from the fine alignment. This is also the step that we are going to be performing our new self-camera calibration as well. I'm going to check that and I'm going to run. This is going to take a couple seconds. I'm running the tie point collection under point collection window. And the type point collection is complete. Once we are done collecting type points, we would be collecting GCPs automatically using our auto GCP collection tool. And as Sean mentioned, Earlier, this is an optional step to get the products at a survey level accuracy. If you do not need the survey level accuracy and you're okay with couple meters offset, you could skip this step and move on to the next step, which would be extracting DSM and generating an auto mosaic. First, I'm going to specify my reference file. Next, I'm going to reference my DEM. And I'm going to, now we are running the, the automatic GCP collection. And as you can see, we were able to collect eight GCPs in the matter of seconds. By using auto GCP collection, you can make sure to meet tight deadlines with a survey level accuracy products. In my previous experiences, it wasn't always possible to collect GCPs and to meet the short deadlines, which would result in turning down projects and potential revenue, revenue loss. And before I move, into the extracting in DS, extracting in DSM and generating auto mosaics, I would like to show you the GCP TP RMSE as well as the distribution. As you can see, the GCP the GCPs are the triangle ones and the tie points are the crosses. As you can see, the tie point distribution as well as the GCP distribution is really really well but it's also equally important to check the RMSE for TP and GCPs as well. 
for this project, we have a TP RMSE that's 0 0.2 pixels, and our GCP accuracy is 0 0.7 pixels, which is less than a centimeter in this case. And that's really, really good. Now, I would like to show you the final step, which is the extracting and extracting a DSM and generating Orto mosaics. I'll open that window. This is the DSM extraction as well as creating a mosaic window here. We see our resolution, two centimeters. We specify our DM file. And we also specify our mosaic file here. And I'm just going to click run. Now I would like to go back to the focus window and show you an example of a DSM filtering. I'd like to go back to the pull overview. So this DTM was generated using a fully automated algorithm called DSM to DTM filtering, which is available in Focus. This is a very, very efficient algorithm that only takes a couple minutes. However, if you like to filter out a couple things, such as trees, you could use the live DM interactive editing tool. I'll be zooming on here and I'll show you how you can edit your DSMs instantly. Now I'll be filtering out a tree. As you can see, this is a very, very quick approach as well. I was able to filter out a tree within seconds. And what that means is that I wouldn't have to go back and regenerate my DSM from the beginning. Everything that I'm doing here is live. This could also save you significant labor time and cost associated with it. If you need to do minor edits, you do not need to spend hours and hours reprocessing your DSM. You can just do it and it's instant. And finally, I would like to show you in our last step, the product perfection step, I would like to show you a quick example of mosaic editing using Smart Geofill. So I have my mosaic here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you an example of a building concealment. As you can see, this was an instant step as well. And the color balancing and blending worked so well that you cannot even tell that the mosaic was edited. And this is very similar to the DSM editing. It's a live editing approach, which you would not have to go back and regenerate your mosaic for small fixes. This could save you a lot of time, a lot of time for reprocessing, and it could keep your cost lower. In my previous experiences, I had mosaics that needed fixing. It had artifacts. However, due to the short turnaround time, it wasn't possible to reprocess the mosaic. And the alternative to that was to perform a refly for the same area and hope that the mosaic would turn out better. This would not only increase the processing time significantly, but it would also increase the cost drastically as well. So with our self-calibration, camera calibration, automatic GCP collection, and interactive editing tools in Geomatica, 
and an auto engine, it's possible to meet short deadlines and reduce the cost significantly. And with that, I will pass it back to you, Mauro. That's great, Selena. Yeah, that um, that's really cool. That's smart jewel fill feature there. Um, okay, that uh, thanks for that demonstration. That was really awesome, Salim. Um, I'm just going to grab my screen here so I can share. Okay, there we go. Wonderful. Okay, I just want to go over uh, what uh, what Salim just showed you. Um, uh, so basically, uh, he showed you the uh, the end-to-end -end UAV processing with uh, the new self uh, the new self camera calibration. Um, how to create a survey level accuracy using automatic GCP collection, and uh, he also showed you uh, how to use our interactive tools to uh, reduce manual effort and uh, complete your projects faster. Um, so what I want to do at this point is go over some some resources that we think you will find very useful um we have we have plenty of resources and what we want to do is is uh is engage with you and um and help you along your way uh to to complete your your projects um so one of those uh main resources sean mentioned um earlier um we have a uh, we have a, a help center um so uh Tons of tutorials, frequently asked questions. You can engage with us on a form. We have uh, we have all of our webinars up there. We have a developer zone. Uh, tons of training, case studies. Uh, we really encourage you to check that out. Uh, that's at support.pcigeomatics.com. Um, and we've just uh, recently added a new UAV tutorial uh, to our uh, help center. So uh, just um, head over there, uh, go to the tutorials section and uh, check that out. Uh, and we think you'll really like that. We also have a, a developer zone. Um, so, so this is very useful. You can um, you can share uh, scripts. You can check out uh, scripts that we have, uh, documentation, uh, more tutorials and videos. Uh, that's at dev.pcigeomatics.com. So that's another great resource that uh, you could take advantage of. We also have some um, some some training on Udemy. Um, so if you just head over to pcigematics.com slash training, we have about five, uh, five full courses there. These are all free training courses. You can register, um, you can follow along, you can, um, you can get a hold of the instructors, you can, um, you can actually, um, uh, they're, they're video instructions, so, uh, so very easy to follow. So I encourage you to check that out to, to get some free training. And of course, we have uh, all of our all of our stuff on on YouTube, uh, so you can easily find us. Um, you can easily find us on YouTube. We put all of our web webinars up there as well, um, and lots of lots of stuff to learn and to engage with us. Uh, speaking of webinars, uh, you can access um, past webinars on our website at uh, pcigmax.com/webinars. Um, you can also register for our upcoming webinars there. Um, so uh, earlier in the webinar, um, I was uh, I announced our, our next webinar, which is coming up next week. Um, so uh, we're sure, going to show you again how to create uh, land cover maps with higher ac accuracy and automation using our new machine learning classifier. Uh, so um, head over to our website, uh, register for that webinar, um, and um, we'll see you then. That's uh, that's next week, June 18th, 2 p.m. Okay, so with that, we, um, we're gonna get into some questions now. Uh, I, I, was, I was watching the questions panel. Um, we've got a bunch of questions and I believe Sean was trying to, to answer them as we were going there. But uh, Sean, do you, uh, do you want to perhaps take over and, uh, and get to some of those? Yes, absolutely. So uh, give me two seconds, just trying to expand my panel because there's a yeah. lot of questions that were coming in, which is great. So we really appreciate that. I definitely um, yeah saw a lot of activity there. I tried to answer uh, <laughs> some of the uh, basic ones, um, <laughs> and I noticed you were you were you were trying to do that as well. So uh, thanks again, everyone, for those questions. This is great. We're going to get to those uh, right away. Wonderful. Okay, so um, so we have a couple questions that uh, came up. Um, so one of the questions I'm just going to find here. 
So one of the questions was, uh, what is the absolute accuracy achieved through the automated process? So right now with the, um, with the automatic GCP collection and the tie point collection that we have, um, what we're able to achieve is sub-pixel accuracy. So this is um, basically, uh, it's achievable of even below half a pixel, well below half a pixel. Uh, but generally what we showcase at this point in time for UAV imagery is about a half a pixel accuracy um, is, is, what's, uh, is what's achievable. So if you think about this imagery was, um, I believe it was around two, 2.5 centimeters. So if we um, divide that in, in half, you know, we're looking at about 1.25 centimeters. So, you know, this is very, very accurate. I've actually done survey work in the past where I had to use uh, like uh, different total stations and, and was doing ground surveying and you're trying to find the point and you're trying to pinpoint it on a certain location. It's, there's no way you can manually even get to that level of accuracy, but it comes down to the quality of your, uh, the GCPs that are collected and your reference imagery. So keep in mind, the automatic GCP collection that we showed here today was done using a reference image that was already survey accurate. So it was able to collect GCPs automatically from that and then make sure it co-registered to that. So that's what we're showcasing today. Um, gonna look for some other ones. Another another great question that came in was around our self or our camera self calibration. So the question was, uh, does it use does it calibrate based on the image or based on the camera itself or information provided by the camera, or um, does it model it from the imagery? So that's actually what uh, uh, we can provide both. So if you have the calibration information. Um, and you've already say calibrated or you're using a sensor that comes with it, um, you can plug that information in. So you can just plug that information in and uh, actually we'll read it from the exit tags if it's available there. So we can automatically pull in that, that information. If you don't have uh, the camera calibration information already available, then we're gonna model it from the images. And that's one of the new capabilities that was released in this, uh, in this workflow here. Okay, um, another question, uh, not so technical, but was asking whether or not um, they can use this demo or how can they learn how to do the, the click by click. So we actually have, um, as Moro mentioned, so you might've already answered this, uh, we've released uh, a new tutorial on our support page that'll show you very similar to what uh, Salim did. It'll show you a click by click uh, workflow of how to um, process UAV imagery with the new self camera calibration as well. Um, so there's more questions coming in. Okay. Um, another one was about the uh, subscription uh, model. So one question was, are we considering a subscription for Geomatica for desktop instead of just available in the cloud? Um, so great that you're asking that. Yes, that is currently being considered um, as well. So there'll be more information released in the uh, in the in the coming months or. Uh, you know, and, and very soon. So we are, that is definitely something that's being considered at the moment as well to um, help uh, reduce the entry barrier into using software like ours. Um, let's go in here. Lots of questions, eh? There is so, there are so many questions. So I'm gonna apologize ahead of time. We are no, no way we're gonna be able to get to everyone's question in this webinar. But no question will go unanswered. Um, if you have your, if you registered with your email, which should be the case, um, we'll be able to associate your question to your email, and we will be able to, we will follow up and respond. Uh, give us a couple days to do so, but we will follow up and respond to all questions that have been asked if we weren't able to answer them here. For sure. So. Uh, another question is, does PCI UAV module or does our software have an image quality check algorithm for the UAV images? Uh, so absolutely, there's ways to do quality checks. Um, depending on what type of quality check you're looking for, we have control points you can use um, in order to do geometric quality checks. Uh, so there are different ways of performing. Uh, we have EO extensions so, or the exterior orientation extensions. So there's a number of different quality checks all throughout that workflow. Um, so we have a lot there to help you make sure you, if there are problems, so you can isolate what the problem is. So absolutely. Okay, let's just see. So, oh, wow, there's just so many questions. 
Mm -hmm. um, so another question is, uh, is this available with the education suite? So uh, I, I believe this is, I believe it is available, but please contact us and uh, we'll give you a, a, an absolute answer for this. Um, okay, so I think at this point, um, it's we're getting close to the top of the hour and I wanna give everyone about five minutes to be able to you know, get yourself set up for potentially have another meeting coming up. So um, That's great. we're, we're going to stop here at this point. But as I said, if uh, if your um, uh, if your question was not answered, um, we promise we will follow up with you. Um, give us a few days to follow up to everyone because there are a large number of questions here. Yeah, that's that's right, uh, Sean. Um, um, what uh, what we're going to do right after this webinar, um, we're going to be sending in an email. Uh, it's going to have a link to uh, the recording and, and the webinar slides. Uh, so in the slides, uh, we have all those links uh, all, for all those online resources. Um, so you'll be able to, to, to uh, engage with us, reach out to us, um, and we'll be happy, more than happy to, to help you uh, with your projects and your questions. Uh, so like Sean said, that's uh, all the time we have for today. Uh, I want to thank uh, Salim and Sean for their awesome presentations. And I, I want to once again thank you for joining us and participating in our polls, uh, asking uh, questions. We got so many questions and that's wonderful. Uh, uh, we really hope you found this, uh, this webinar to be valuable. Um, the webinar is over, but Again, please do not hesitate to engage with us. Let's let's keep the conversation going. Uh, please reach out to us on social media. Uh, contact uh, our amazing support team. Uh, we always appreciate your questions and look forward to interacting with you. Uh, so with that, I'd like to say it's been a pleasure being with all of you today. Uh, so until next time, take care and bye for now.